J'en suis ravi de même. J'en suis Et ravi de même. J'en suis ravi de même. On revient les bouches pour le bas. J'en suis ravi, ravi, de ravi de même. J'en suis ravi de même. Et sans doute il me doute, madame. Oui. Mais plutôt d'un transport de zèle qui m'entraîne dans le transport. D'un transport. D'un transport. transport. Trans transport. We were doing a what we call what I call a text lab. Text lab. Um, so I work on the pronunciation one on one on um, on their lines and their scenes. And this is a great way to really uh, make sure that you improve their pronunciation uh, with a careful attention to the text. So there are different types of text labs. Some are just on the pronunciation and some are on the also the meaning of the text. Sometimes they have a, they have a hard time understanding everything, so we make sure they understand this way. And um, the pronunciation today was only focused on that. French 211 was without a doubt has it has been one of my favorite courses at Princeton. Florent really takes the time to work with each student individually, and you really get to know the individual works that you're, you're studying. So each student performs either two or three scenes throughout the entire semester, and um, you get to work with dif different partners, and also examine not just your particular scene, but the work in general. No, mais no. Tu ne vas pas aussi te promener dans l'appartement en chemise de nuit avec ton chapeau sur la terre. Eh bien, je te prie de m'expliquer. J'en ai mon chapeau tout à l'heure you learn about the intricacy of language and just how important pronunciation is. It's a very different concept than American theater. French theater, um, it's much more about the text and a lot less about sort of what you're doing with your arms and the, all that jazz, which took a lot for me to learn. Basically, we're con uh, covering all kinds of French theater from classical to contemporary. Uh, we're doing Fado, which is something more contemporary, but there's also Racine, which is um, classical. Bernice, Anne Romec, a lot of really, really great French plays. I think it's really cool how we have these private rehearsals because he's, uh, he's an amazing teacher and he really um, is putting a lot of effort into our diction, which is especially important. It's kind of underestimated because the acting is, we put it as like our number one priority, but then obviously if you can't understand what we're saying, that is a disadvantage, so he's really, really helpful in diction. Alors, qu'est-ce que ça te fait? Ça, ça me gasse ça. Je veux bien encore le, je veux bien encore le tromper, mais il me trompe. Ça, ça te passe. Tu as une morale délicieuse. Quoi? Je n'ai pas raison. Oh, si, si, si. Seulement, voilà. Tout ce que tu m'exposes ne m'approuve pas. Something that I really loved about this class is that I do a lot of theater on campus and I also study French in the classroom and this class really gave me an opportunity to combine both of them and something that was really really special about this class is that our professor uh, Florent Mess he brought in a professional actor, one of his friends from France, yeah, to come meet with us really for cool. a week. We got to rehearse with him and he got to talk about, like, talk to us about his projects that he's doing in France. It's a great study of sort of the history of French theater, and um, I I loved every second of it. I took it in my freshman fall, and it was an amazing course, and it was one of the best ways for me to start off Princeton. And now I'm a French major. Ah, ah, Parlez-vous français? Oui, je vis à Paris. Ah oh yeah! J'adore Paris. Moi aussi. Hit me! Aimez-vous le jazz? J'adore. Le swing. 